Greetings YouTube followers, this is John Demokis, aka Half Man, Half Cichlid. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about, uh, well, I, I mean to back up a little bit, I've been in the hobby for 61 years. Uh, for those who have followed my channel, you know I'm uh, heavily involved in uh, different types of uh, experiments and different ways to improve the hobby. I've got a background in uh, uh, biological sciences, educationally and uh, career-wise, so it, it's been a great hobby. And I've tried a number of ways to reduce nitrates. I think I got sucked into the nitrate craze, you know, trying to get them to zero, chasing a level that's uh, very low. In the process, I've learned a lot about uh, water chemistry and what works and doesn't work. And I think all of that, that learning contributed significantly to improving the overall beauty of my aquariums the health of, and the health of the inhabitants. You know, I've tried, and I've got videos on my channel if you want to uh, view my experiments with any of these methods, but I've uh, tried uh, algae scrubbers uh, with limit, some but limited expense, deep sand substrates, which I basically gave up on with the level of uh, nitrates in my aquariums, floating plants, you know, rapidly growing floating plants like water lettuce uh, helped somewhat uh, I recently I did a video on my high, hydroponic, uh, or excuse me, aquaponic grow bed on my 500 gallon aquarium, which has been very successful, very successful. I mean, the tank is heavily populated with very large fish up to 14 inches, and I'm able to maintain a uh, nitrate level of zero to 20 parts per million with 80% uh, water changes every uh, couple weeks. I had a disastrous experiment with uh, BCB baskets where uh, I ended up having uh, gray sludge in uh, my 110 gallon sump because the kitty litter uh, broke down. And uh, the purpose of this video is to talk about uh, the fact that uh, what is my most successful experiment with uh, uh, reducing nitrates, and that is a, plat a planted aquarium. And I'm going to talk specifically about the seven foot, 200 gallon aquarium that you uh, see behind me, which uh, uh, has zero, has had zero nitrates now for several months. And uh, in fact, uh, I have to add nitrates via Seachem nitrogen to keep the plants from turning brown because of uh, nitrogen uh, deficiency. So anyway, I'm going to share this aquarium with you, a few facts, and uh, I think it's very important after all these uh, experiments and knowledge I've gained to note that uh, you know planted aquarium you, know, you can achieve a, a uh, zero nitrate situation with a highly uh, planted aquarium like this 200 behind me in spite of the fact that there are a lot of fish I've got a lot of fish in this tank as you'll see but you got to keep the plants growing growing rapidly producing a lot of uh, uh, biomass and in the process they will remove and take out uh, the nitrogen from your water and purify the water uh, for, of other substances that are a natural part of the meta metabolic uh, pathways that uh, our fish uh, do in their you know perform in their bodies that emit not only uh, ammonia and other uh, other substances too, everything from hormones to uh, to uh, 
heavy metals. So in any event, uh, let me show you the aquarium, talk about a few of the secrets, uh, and uh, try to get the point across that uh, for me, and after all these years, uh, I think I finally hit the zero nitrate uh, target, and uh, and uh, we feel really good about it and wanted to share that with this audience. Thank you. Uh, let's first start with what I hope is obvious from the introduction and after you view the rest of the video, and that is that you can achieve zero nitrates without deep substrate, BCB filters, biohome, algae scrubbers, uh, all the methods that uh, uh, empty our pockets, so to speak, so to speak, chasing after the uh, zero uh, nitrates. This is the aquarium. It's a 200-gallon, uh, as I mentioned, seven-foot-long aquarium, uh, heavily uh, planted. I've got, uh, and, and uh, I think a lot, would consider, a lot of folks would consider this to be relatively heavily populated with fish. I've got five sizable geophagus svenai. I've got nine or ten uh, bosmani uh, rainbow fish. I've got uh, about eight angels. And uh, the plants I have in the aquarium are... I, I break them down into slow growing and uh, fast growing. And the fast growing plants are the Amazon swords. And uh, I also have uh, a, uh, can't, a root ball of water sprite. I have to trim it quite a bit, but it's very fast growing and does its share of uh, grabbing the nitrates. Uh, slower growing plants, I've got uh, Anubias, three different species, which I absolutely uh, love, and I have a separate video on how I grow them in my Anubias farm uh, to get them to this size and rapidly before I uh, put them in an immersed condition in one of my aquariums. I've got uh, Java fern. And uh, I think that about does it. I do have a, uh, a small nursery in here uh, of uh, baby Amazon swords that I'm growing out for uh, other aquariums. But this, this is the monster. And as I mentioned, one of the two monster Amazon swords. And as I mentioned, uh, the, uh, to achieve zero nitrates, I think it's important that you have some rapidly growing plants that you have, there's, there's the, uh, the uh, small uh, uh, sores in those little baskets, but uh, rapidly growing plants, uh, carbon CO2, which I uh, add to the water, which of course accelerates the uh, plant growth, and also uh, another thing that accelerates the plant growth is uh, Fertilizers. I prepare uh, four different uh, concoctions, DIY, because to uh, to uh, use something like Easy Green in all my aquariums would uh, bust my uh, my uh, aquarium budget. So very inexpensively, I'm able to make uh, uh, my own uh, uh, fertilizers. So, zoom in here, you can see the fish. So, you know, I do consider this to be relatively heavily uh, populated, and in spite of that, uh, I'm registering uh, zero nitrates, and in fact, I have to add uh, Seachem nitrogen, which contains urea and sodium nitrate, to keep the plants uh, flourishing uh, and to... Uh, you know, accelerate the growth as part of uh, removing, they're removing the nitrates uh, and ammonia from uh, the aquarium. In fact, if I don't add nitrates back with the Seachem 
uh, nitrogen, I start to lose uh, leaves. They start to consume themselves on the, uh, the uh, Amazon soar. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Since this is such a, a big topic, I look forward to your comments and inputs and questions. Thank you. Half man, half cichlid, John Demokis.